I'm Johnny, and welcome to Season 2. Wow, does this topic look mathy or what? Okay, it's really not all that hard, and it's pretty fascinating actually. We're going to talk about transfer functions. You've probably heard about how tubes make music sound good. I'm not talking fallopian tubes. I'm talking about valves or vacuum tubes. Audiophiles go nuts over tube amps. They will almost seriously back up the truck, get a pitchfork, and start throwing hay bales at people who will sell them tube amplifiers. Mixing engineers have reams and reams of outboard gear that have these magical tubes in them. Analog sounds good. Why is it that analog sounds good? Well, that's what we're going to look at today. So these tubes, and sometimes transistors, are really part of the magic of analog and what makes analog sound so good. What happens is they add harmonic imperfections, and you can actually look at and examine what those imperfections are and reason about them to some degree. And the key to all that is the transfer function. So let's start with a simple noise, like a sine wave. And inside of computers, this gets converted to a whole bunch of numbers. A transfer function is like this box or a tube, if you will, that the numbers go in and then new numbers come out. And then you can graph a transfer function like this. And the X axis is the amplitude or the value of the sine wave at a particular point. And the Y axis is going to be what that new value is. So yeah, it is going to get a little mathy, but just a little. Anyway, so if we have a graph that looks like this, and we take a line like this so that every X equals every Y, then we have something called the identity function. Every input is exactly the same as every output. No surprises here. But what happens when we choose a completely different line or a different transfer function? What about something like this? Ouch! <laughs> so, yeah, you can see how the effects here can have effects over here. So see how that waveform is completely distorted? Yeah, transfer functions have some magic. Transistors and tubes don't have a transfer function that are like boxy like this. They're generally a lot more rounded. And in fact, one of my favorite transfer functions to use is a sine wave. Now, this is not a sine wave you hear. What actually happens is that the waveform itself kind of gets folded in on itself. And this can sound really good when it comes to bass notes. So let's take the sine wave and tune it way lower and then run it through the transfer function. Now, you can probably actually hear that even if you're listening through crappy headphones, just because of the nature of the distortion it adds all these upper level harmonics and it gives some warmth to the sound. So how does this relate to transistors and tubes? Well, due to the physical nature of these devices, whenever there's an input, the output is not exactly the same. There's all kinds of factors involved here, including things like the materials that are used to the manufacturing of the transistor and the tube, what production run it happens to be in, how long the device has been powered, how warm the tube is, and who knows what else. God, for all I know, there's like quantum effects. But now we're starting to get into like quantum angel healing and woo, so I don't know. If all this sounds vaguely familiar, you might remember me saying similar things about what makes the TB303 so special and how its components give each individual 303 its characteristic sound. So if you have a saturated plugin for your digital audio workstation, those things do these things that I'm talking about and you should really play around with these. They don't necessarily have to distort the crap out of your sound. And in fact, sometimes it's better if they don't, but they do give your sound a little bit of that extra warmth and that extra pleasing distortion, that bit of humanity that people say is lost from digital music. And of course, the moment you've all been waiting for, tips for single guys from Justine. Don't put on that fedora. It looks fucking ridiculous. I missed y'all. So remember, transfer functions are fun. <laughs>